Well, what's going on guys? So my plan for this season was to get to hell as quick as possible and then start farming keys because they're still worth a decent amount early on. So here we go, 100 Countess runs. This is what I got. Starting off with a winged helm on the way to Countess. Good for smiters. Then all of a sudden I find a death mask. It's Tal's mask, which I ended up using in my mercenary for the lifesteal and the resist. Then my first key drops. Next we find a unique Grim Shield, and this ends up being Littlest Wall. A few runs later we find our second key. Again, on the way to Countess, I actually found a decent amount of items there killing groups of mobs. A four open socket crystal sword, good for spirit. Then we find a Lem rune, our best rune so far, aside from the un rune I found from uh, the forge. Then I find a white monarch, which are very valuable early on because everyone's trying to make spirit. And then my third key drops. Again, on my way into the Countess. We find another Grand Charm, and this is much better than my first Geeds. A 139-36. Very, very good rolls. And we find our fourth key. And... Our next best room, we find an Umrune. Then we find Templar Coat, which ends up being Guardian Angel. And Demonheim Boots, I hope they weren't ethereal, but uh... They are, so I don't know if I can really trade those for anything. And then I find a Javelin, and it actually rolls 4 to all skills out of the 2 to the 4, and 194% ED out of 200% possible. Then we find our next key. And then a set pair of Heavy Bracers, which was an upgrade for me, Trangs, and that put me over to the 117% Breakpoint for Lightning. For faster cash rate. And we end our session here with a mall rune. Now this is going to be a little bit different. Let me know if you guys like this. Um, I found this website that shows that does pretty good price tracks, d2trader.net, and uh, it gives you the approximate value of each item. So if you guys ever wanted to check it out, uh, I've been using it and it's pretty accurate. If you're using d2gsp or just trading for runes, it gives you a good indication. So, for example, for my Geeds, it would probably be on the high end. And it goes from least to most, depending on the, the rolls. And you can kind of figure it out from there. So, this one might be close to a goal because it's four to all skills and almost 200% ED. And Trangs really doesn't have much role other than defense, so it's basically a Lem rune. So, I do like spreadsheets. So, overall, this is what I found. And I did the uh, Lem value total of each. And then on the bottom, I also found Spirit Packs, Tell the Lord M, which are very valuable as well when everyone's trying to re-roll Spirits, and a Hell Rune. And those are the approximate values I've been able to trade these for. So overall, about 8 ists of value and about 0.6 Burr Rooms of value. So let me know if you like this format and also what have your best drops been so far? What have been your farming plans for Season 3? Thanks for watching.